Welcome students in my new tutorial based upon Adobe Photoshop and today I'll be working upon some advanced selection tools. So first of all, I'll take one image. These steps you already know. So I'll be selecting one flower. So suppose this image I want to select and of course these all these images you will find in my link which I'll be sharing at the bottom of my tutorial. So these steps as you already know so I'll be going a little faster here. Now making the duplicate of this layer as original copy. Unclicking this layer so that only the top layer should be visible. Although it will be visible because it is on top, but still accidentally I should not select the second layer. And always, if I want to lock this layer, this one, you can always click on this lock option, lock call. I can click this or I'll select this one and click on lock. So means I will not be doing any changes here. So I'll working upon original copy. And now, this time, because you know I have to work uh, very manually here so if I select this tool quick selection tool it will not work that perfectly because if I select here all the flower it is selecting properly but if I have to select the leaves and all it will not do as it see so it means I want some other advanced tool so I can use mix of these also I can do if it is selecting the flower, I can use this tool as I was doing here. But where this tool fails, now always I can press spacebar key, which key? Spacebar. This hand will come and it allows me to shift my image up and down if the space is there. Okay. Suppose like this. It's allowing me to work very minutely and in zoomed way. But here also it's not working properly if you'll see this tool. So means I have to take some another tool, Control D to deselect. So I'll use these three tools, lasso tool, shortcut is L or polygon lasso tool and magnetic lasso tool. Firstly, I'll select lasso tool. I don't use this tool. It is a kind of a tool what we were doing in paint brush. Actually, it will start selecting like this it will start selecting and you have to regularly press the left mouse button so it's very difficult to select all the outer parts of the flowers with this and once or accidentally you will put your finger off from the left mouse button the selection is gone see so it's very difficult although this tool was available when I was doing paintbrush so it's suppose this kind of selection is to be done it's easy okay uh, but it's difficult so I'll not use this one I'll press ctrl D to deselect the other lesso tool is polygon lesso tool and if I'll after selecting this polygon lesso tool if I'll see on the option bar this is option bar the starting of my tutorial also i think tutorial number one when i was telling you about the interface i told you about these options this is new selection always whenever i have to make the new selection this is add to selection the same way if i press the shift key it will do the same thing and this is subtract this is all the example i'll give here in this tutorial or i can use alt key and this is intersect with selection Feather key, I'll tell afterwards what it is doing. So, I'll select this polygon lasso tool. What it does actually, I'll just, okay, I'll zoom it and then I'll take the tip and I'll start, start selecting the outer edges of the flower. Okay, it will take time but you can do it so here you can do very minutely you can just select and what you have to do you can 
take out your finger away from the mouse the selection will not go means it is still in the selection mode and then it's like this you can take the outer part like this and if you see like that you have done something wrong suppose i have selected here so always you can press backspace key so when i'll press the backspace key whichever point it has selected it will be deleted just see okay so now i'll be fast forwarding this selection process so nearly i have finished i'll just join with the starting point and i'll click and you see your flower is been selected okay different different options are there so this time i have used polygon lasso tool and after selection if you want to see how it looks like so there is one option here masking you click on mask and you see this is the selection of your flower and always you can do the modifications with this so just now i'll unclick it once this flower is been selected now i can take other parts if i want to take means whole plant then i can take the other part also so what i'll do i'll select that also but before that i just want to preserve this so i'll copy and paste and i'll save it as flower so that my selection should remain so just see this is my flower now i'll go back to the original layer original copy means and i'll unclick it i icon so that it should not be seen now i'll select the other part for selecting other part one i have told you polygon lasso tool then i can take magnetic lasso tool also it's a little different but uh, that i'll cover with another uh, with another image just now polygon only i'll take and uh, i'll be selecting the whole part so i'll be going it fast forward so the selection has been done but little bit more work i have to do always you can press space bar key so that hand should be there and you can see the image and move the image up and down so like all uh, this some inner parts i have to deselect means just now i'll just use masking tool if i click on this masking tool it will show these parts also selected this should not be selected actually so what i can do on the top this is a new selection this is minus selection new selection sorry it is add to selection and this is subtract from selection the same word you can use with alt key also so what i'll do here i'll use control plus just to zoom and again i'll use masking tool okay this is okay this part i would deselect you could see here in, along with my plus sign plus sign minus sign is also there that means it will deselect and i used from here this option so i'll just deselect it double click it and now if i'll check it by masking tool just see it's deselected the same way from here also
and again using masking tool it's deselected i hope this has been done and i am satisfied one more leave i want to add in, in this so i can use this tool add to selection and then i can select you could see here plus sign with shift also it comes so i'll select this part also so each and every selection is been done it's looking okay now i'll copy copy you know control c and then control v so now i'll off this uh, original copy it's looking something like this now i'll on this flower copy also so it's looking something like this and uh, this flower i can adjust a bit i'll put it down so for just adjusting it i'll click on flower layer and then i'll little bit drag it down so that it covers that part which was not cut properly and con uh, control minus to zoom out so see it's looking something like this so today you have learned uh, these both the tools lasso and polygon the magnetic lasso tool is also a good tool so this i'll cover in some other tutorial although it works same like polygon but it selects automatically so in this flower it was not feasible to use this tool for that i'll select some other image where i'll use this magnetic lasso tool but i hope uh, you might have enjoyed using both these tools and now as a background uh, i can use any image let's see i'll just try to put some image here i'll click i'll just go to my some other image suppose try to use some image from here so suppose this image i want i can just drag it down and directly take it here and uh, just leave it it's looking something like this now here i can suppose it's coming like this uh, always you have to click on tick on the top uh, then you can just increase the size like this although you can use control t also but okay once you have done it increase the size you can put control control minus also this is just the example for how we can do it now this is some uh, other layer and the, actually i have used this as a smart layer if i double click it here it will show original image so original image is intact nothing i am changing there so but i am working upon this uh, smart layer so i can use shift key to select both the layers and then i can work upon this layer like this control t to select or increase the size of the image control t all that should be blurry at the back if i want this kind of uh, scene that if i am focusing on flower but that option i can't teach you just now so always you can use if i'm selecting this a uh, free transform control t i have just taught you or transform from your scale rotate q this also i'll give another demo but just now for your purpose control t you can use and uh, as a result you are able to insert the image at the back and uh, you are able to cut the part of your flower and you can use it anywhere you can make the duplicate also it's easy here just see that example also i'll add in this only suppose i'm dragging it here and this flower now this flower i'm selecting this flower i'll again use controls i'll make the duplicate of this layer right click duplicate layer flower copy 
and then I'll use this flower copy and put somewhere like this and control T just to change the shape a little bit and then uh, again add it transform here I can use uh, rotate 180 just to change the orientation of the flower more smaller so that it looks a little smaller in the in the case. I see this side. This side it's looking okay. And then selecting all three layers, I can move this in somewhere in between. So I hope my this tutorial is okay and you have covered the basic tools of lasso polygon lasso tool. So with this I am closing my tutorial and uh, if you have any doubt you can just post your comments and if you like my tutorial please do like share and comment and also subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it earlier so okay bye bye take care and wait for my next tutorial